Hi, um, my name's Lee Harris. I'm a coordinator here at Cypher Fireside in uh, central Birmingham. Um, we're an open access drop-in centre for uh, mainly homeless people or people who are disadvantaged in some way. And um, we run a variety of things. The drop-in actually helps on a practical scale in terms of food and uh, clothing, showers, etc. Uh, we get a fair proportion of rough sleepers in. Obviously, they've got a, a need for uh, those sort of services. Um, we also run a lot of activities, um, probably about 13 or 14 things, uh, you know, some of them educational, some of them are um, around art and drama. Um, we also have an active alcohol service which uh, does one-to-one -one work with people who are suffering with alcohol problems and also um, a, a resettlement service and a private rented access service so that we can find people um, accommodation including emergency accommodation on the day. That, that's a, a very brief rundown of, of the services that we do. In terms of health, um, we, we do have a, a nurse from the health exchange here in Birmingham here twice a week. Um, we don't have a, a GP on the premises, but um, that nurse will act as a referral person for, for a GP down at the health exchange for necessary. Um, but we have been running recently um, some courses to try and make people more aware of um, how to deal with, with common ailments and problems called the Expert Patient Programme, which um, two of my colleagues here have been involved with. Um, that, uh, as I said, is you know, making people aware of, of health conditions so that they can avoid going to GPs. And I think um, we, we've also had a visit from a GP to actually talk to them uh, on one occasion. And I think that's a way that a GP can actually educate and help people so that they don't have to keep going to GPs or to accident emergencies. I mean, part, part of the process is to avoid um, that and, and obviously to save the NHS money in the process. Um, we've also run a train the trainer course, which is more individual one-to-one -one stuff. And also we're looking for health champions from our service users to go out to hostels to talk to peer groups um, about um, managing their health conditions and uh, spreading the word, really, I suppose we could call that. So, if you want to see from that. Thank you. Bill and Nimran, uh, okay. one of the EPP programs. This is Imran and Bill. Um, would you be able to tell me a little bit more about the expert patient program you were involved yeah, expert in? expert patient was quite helpful for us. Basically, we had in-house training here, and basically was involving all the GPs and the cipher fireside staff. But basically, many was upgrading, and you know, through the illness, and there was about 20, 25 people involved in basically worked out for us because when you've been through the illness and you know because I still suffer from PTS and it's still relevant what it was but you get to push up everything that you need plus I see my mental coordinator here and psychiatrics they're going to refer me here then that's uh, basically how, how did the course help you? Well, basically it's just lightened the few stuff up that I've been through and basically now I've, I've met more confidence in myself of helping others, you know, yeah. and thanks to Cypher Fireside because for Lee for organizing it for us. Because we've done this class first, then we went on a course, then it tells you all the overdose of the medication and what you should be, you know. But we've all done it, you know, we've been through that. And now we, we can go out and teach others mm -hmm. to save somebody. But you can't save the world, but you can only <laughs> save, a, you know. But you can only try your best, you know, you can open the door for them. That's if it works, you know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Bill. Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm Bill. And uh, I used to work in the health service. Got a pretty good idea about medicine, a good knowledge on medicine. And I've been on the other side of the fence and become harmless. The uh, idea about the course was to try and get a, a more information from GPs and from nurses that we could then spread out into the community. So we're planning to try and put some of this information into a magazine that we run called HALO. It stands for Harmless Addictions, Loneliness and Outsiders. A lot of the harmless lads have got uh, drug issues, mental health problems, learning difficulties, come from all sorts of different backgrounds. And uh, you find that if they've got problems like so like sore feet or blisters and stuff, things like that. Sometimes they won't even attend to look after those injuries themselves. They, they'll just carry on suffering until it gets too bad and then they'll, they might end up calling an ambulance or going to A&E, which is quite a long way away in Birmingham. So the idea was 
Some of them are aware that we've got a nurse, Claire, at uh, William Booth Court, and she comes into Cyber Fireside, and they'll come and see her. But we've got people that we don't always manage to draw in. There's people on the outskirts, or for various reasons, that they won't interact with the services. Either they've run away from home, or they're in trouble with the police, or they're just too emotionally damaged. So what I've tried to do is speak to all the suit runs. We've got, we have a suit run that's run by different churches, and they come out every night, and we, there's an outreach team from the church. And then we're trying to sort of give out that information to them that if they, that the dangers when they're on medication, because we get a lot of them are on uh, medication for mental health problems, and if you mix that with alcohol or other drugs, uh, it can be really dangerous. And a lot of them are not aware of that, and they don't take that much care of themselves until it's too late. So the idea is trying to do it in a friendly, sort of relaxed way of put, putting the information out to them and hopefully drawing them in and, and saving any dangerous situations. Yeah. It's difficult to get to them, but we find that it works f with, a, with a sense of humour. If you can do it in cartoons, in, in magazines, and do it in little leaflets, not too much information is going to confuse them. And a lot of it's word of mouth, because a, a lot of armless lads can't read and write very well. They've either had poor educations or something's gone wrong and they've been expelled from school, in and out of prison, all different reasons. So the old flu, with all this combining of the nursing staff and the GP and what's done here at Cypher Fireside, we can push that out further into the community, we're hoping.